Joining us now is Early Show medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good to have you with us Good this morning. morning. So Ben talked a little bit about the fact that this is Legionnaires. It's it's sort of a milder form of Legionnaires disease, but this is still very serious and even potentially fatal. Exactly. And the medical detectives and disease trackers are on this case, Erica, because when so many people get sick in such a short period of time that we're all in the same area, they really have to look for a unifying feature. This sounds like a history lesson, but Legionnaires disease really refers to a bacteria called Legionella bacteria. Bacteria, and it typically causes upper respiratory infections that in the case of Legionnaires could be fatal. In the case of Pontiac's disease, it really is a much more milder form, usually self-limited. Okay, and in terms of, we talked, to, we heard a little bit from Ben about how it spread, but give us a better idea of why these people could have been at risk. This is a bacteria that is found in soil, but it's also found in wet, moist environments. So that could be hot tubs, large ventilation or air conditioning systems, even shower heads. So it's very easily transmitted through respiratory droplets or in the air, not spread person to person, so it's not direct contact, but anytime you're inhaling a same air system, this is something that's on the top of the list. And it grows in that, when that water basically, exactly. and then it gets spread out. And that's why we haven't seen it spread, because it's not spread person to person. Correct. What are some of the symptoms? Again, they're upper respiratory infections. They usually will start 24 to 48 hours after exposure, but you can see anything from headaches to muscle aches to chills, high fever, usually over 104 degrees. In a milder form like Pontiac's disease, you might just have milder forms of these symptoms, but again, not subtle. They usually come on really, really strong, and a typical upper respiratory symptoms. And what's the treatment for this? When you're talking about Pontiac's disease, the less severe form, it usually runs its course, doesn't require any treatment. Legionnaire's disease, antibiotics, sometimes hospitalization, sometimes ventilatory support to help support your breathing. And hopefully they will get in touch with all those people who were there oh, to find will. out whether or not it was a larger Absolutely. number. Jen, thanks. You bet.